Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is going to be a pick a card on what are the messages from Santa Muerte. Today we have three piles. Pile one is the all black obsidian. Pile two is iolite in the center. And then pile three is the tiger's eye hematite obsidian protection bracelet. So these are the three piles to choose from. Take a deep breath. Choose the pile you're drawn to the most. We're going to get started with pile one. Hey, pile one. If you chose this pile, the black, I think I said obsidian. It's black tourmaline. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a protection bracelet. If you chose this pile, this is your reading. What are the messages from Santa Muerte? What do you need to know? These are general messages. Take what resonates. For a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. We're going to get started. Let's see. Pile 1, for those of you who chose the all-black bracelet. What are the messages from Santa Muerte? La Niña Blanca. Let's see. You've seen her. You've seen her silhouette or you've seen her all in white is what I'm getting. With the Hermit card, you need to come out of hiding or you need to get out of your shell is what I'm getting. You're isolating yourself too much. Some of you guys could have like depression. What is this for the collective? Clarify the Hermit, Santa Muerte. What is this? What do they need to know? Yeah. Stop being sad. Get out of your shell is what I'm getting. You could be hearing voices or you could be stuck in your head. There's an ending of you being stuck. 111. With the Six of Wands, it's time for you to move forward. I think my cards are upside down. They are. Look at that bottom of the deck, Santa Muerte. You have seen her. She's trying to give you a message that you need to break free. You need to change something. The time is now. You will have positive movement forward. Or you're moving on from something negative or chaotic. You're not going to feel stuck. You're not going to be depressed anymore. The change of the shift has already happened. You have healed Pal 1 and you are protected from anything negative. But you do need to have a little more faith in her or you need to connect with her more. I just saw a crow fly by. So your intuition, she is guiding you. She's protecting you. But you do need to communicate with her more is what I'm getting. With the Two of Wands, there could be a decision that you have to make that you could be contemplating. Or you're trying to figure out what choice to make. With the Temperance card, whatever decision you make, she's going to guide you on the right path so that you will have healing and that you are going to be just fine. You're stronger than you think you are with the Strength card. And that's all I have for you, Pile 1. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. We're going to get into Pile number 2. Pile 2, if you chose the Iolite bracelet, this is your reading. Take what resonates. These are general messages. Pile 2. I heard what's yours is yours, and then I heard come to me. So either you're doing a come to me spell, or somebody did a come to me spell on you. Holy shit. I heard brandy. Um, then I'm thinking of Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, what's that song? Um, what's that song? The one where it's like, my life, my something, something is the sea. I can't sing. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy. She's a fan girl. Oh my god, it's that one song. I'm thinking of Guardians of the Galaxy and the scene with Kurt Russell. And then, oh my god, Chris Pratt, the main character. I can't remember this. Why? This is so bad. I'm so sorry, you guys. It's the scene with Chris Pratt and he, Chris Pratt and he meets his dad. And then he talks about his mom. And they're in the car. And there's that song playing. It's like my life, my, my, oh, what's it called? my love of the ocean or something you're a fine girl brandy i don't know the name of the, oh my god this is this is terrible if i re, if you guys know what i'm talking about please comment below for pile two i'm so sorry i can't remember it's brandy you're a fine girl but my life my love of the ocean or something or i love the sea i don't know but brandy that's significant could literally be like alcohol or a name um or something about the lyrics in that song okay pal two so let's see messages from santa muerte for pal two those who chose i light work with your root chakra you could be a taurus libra i feel like <laughs> somebody likes you pile two because i heard come to me i heard come my baby come come my baby you're my butterfly sugar baby somebody really likes you butterflies could be significant of course we know that is santa muerte's symbol as well with the two of wands someone is trying to hold back their feelings for you with the nine of cups they really like your hair because my hair got caught in my nails um that could be significant thank you spirit for confirmation because i just heard the um car alarm so you guys could be clear audience 
I was talking about the ocean and the sea. So someone is coming towards you. Maybe you live near the ocean. 444, you are protected. This love is the love of like one of a kind, the most high, divinely guided. I'm also getting um, Pirates of the Caribbean where the locket and the heart, Davy Jones and um, what's it called? Will Turner and then that girl that he likes. Like this is a divinely guided union. Like you guys are coming into union with somebody no one is going to be able to break you from your divine counterpart. Someone is manifesting you or you're manifesting. You guys are manifesting each other. You're going to be in a relationship. Something with this helping you find your true love. That's what I'm getting. Yes, with the four of wands. Something with this helping you find your true love. Work with La Roja or you've been working with Red Candles Pile 2. But she's guiding you and she's giving you your intuition. Like she's, she's helping you see the truth about a situation. She's also helping your person see that you're the one. With the four of pentacles and the king of swords. Someone will be revealing some truth. She is guiding your person towards you. That's what I'm getting. Um, I just dropped some cards. So someone's plans are going to fail. Six of wands, ten of swords, hermit. Yeah, someone was trying to keep your person away from you with the two of cups. That's not going to happen. Because I feel like you're already in union with your person. Let's see what these cards are. The six of swords and the king of wands. Yeah, you're moving away from someone or something that is not for you. That could have been like player energy or this is your person moving away from player ways. Take what resonates. Yeah, with the six of pentacles because there was an imbalance. I heard TikTok marks the clock. So it's like, yeah, with the ace of pentacles, someone is seeing that it's you. I heard put your money where your mouth is. So it's like somebody is going to like, someone bet on the wrong thing and they're going to lose. You're moving forward. They're seeing the truth. They're coming towards you. Someone's going to have to bite their tongue. Someone may come back with an apology or someone's going to come towards you and tell you that they're sorry for their behavior or something that happened. I apologize. I have to put this window down. Okay. Someone, um, I heard it's getting hot in here. <laughs> oh my God. Someone is going to realize you're the one and they're not going to be able to like have peace of mind until they come towards you. I just saw a guy with a tie-dye shirt, so, um, <laughs> you're working with all the colors of Santa Muerte. They could have done, like, a chakra candle, or you're clearing out your chakras. Someone's gonna have to come to you with an apology, because Santa Muerte is guiding or making this person come to you. You've requested true love, and look at, yes, 7-Eleven. Someone's gonna come to you and give you an apology for the way that they acted with the Ten of Pentacles. They're gonna tell you they want a second chance, or they're gonna tell you they didn't realize it was you, and now they know that it is you, and they want to be with you, and they were in the wrong place, and they needed to heal, and they feel sorry, and blah 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 blah. That's what I'm hearing. Someone's gonna ramble. <laughs> oh my god, what's this one? Yeah, with the Eight of Cups, someone's realizing they screwed up. Someone also could have been drinking or not spending their money wisely, but this is their karma for the way that they treated you. Someone's gonna have a rude awakening that you're their person. This is more like the love reading pile too. This is not your reading. You don't want to know about love and watch something else or watch a different <laughs> or watch a different channel or watch a different pile. But this is about someone realizing that they can't find love anywhere else but with you. They're going to communicate to you. Yeah, with the two of swords. They're going to realize that you are the one and they're not conflicted anymore. I'm hearing, baby, I'm yours. <laughs> so the seven of pentacles, this person is going to want to work on a connection with you. And they realize that you are their happiness. So lots of music, lots of happiness, lots of positive energy coming towards you, pile two. That's your message. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. We're going to get to pile number three. Pile three, if you chose the protection, hematite, obsidian, tiger's eye bracelet. This is your reading. What is the message from Santa Muerte? You guys are scrying with a mare, or you've been trying to scry with a mare, or a candle flame, or you're going to. What is the message from Santa Muerte for pile three? Show me clearly Santa Muerte. I heard that song from Tupac. I should so many tears. Something, something, something. You guys cry a lot, or you used to cry. No more tears. Blessings are coming. Don't dwell on the past. The people that hurt you hurt people hurt people. That's what I'm hearing. People are just people. You've learned a lesson and you know not to give your energy to people that don't deserve it. You have um, a spiritual family or positive energy is coming towards you with a Knight of Cups. Someone really loves you. They're not walking away. They're not going to give their love to someone else. Santa Muerte wants you to work with a blue crystal on top of... Um, she wants you to work with blue and also your third eye and crown chakra. I said you guys could be scrying and look at there's like a mirror down here. Or you have a mirror on her altar for you 
for her to see to come through like a portal and she does and she's protecting you she is helping you get more grounded and focused because someone could have sent you a psychic attack someone is withholding information whatever that might be with a work or money situation someone is going to be isolated she wants you to meditate so that you can get those creative ideas connect your um yeah i heard connect to your higher self so third eye crown chakra meditate because you have spiritual abundance and blessings coming your way some of you guys could have done a witch's ladder 1001 as above so below she is coming to visit you she's coming to protect you your altar is shielded your home is protected she's still connecting with you work with the mare that you have on her altar because that is going to be stronger for you to receive more messages from her versus you using a completely different mare if you are interested in wanting to scry with her the choice is yours you have free will but i do feel that she comes through that portal of that mirror to protect you she knows someone was trying to block your third eye and crown chakra and she is helping you guiding you on what you need to do to stay focused to stay grounded and to strengthen your intuition and your third eye your gifts will not be taken or blocked from you but if you're in a low vibrational energy you will not be able to connect and that's what someone's been trying to do they've been trying to throw a psychic attack at you but look at that la negra is here she's going to give karma to whoever's trying to take or steal your ideas or energy in any way shape or form if you've been having cramps or any type of en energy that's negative, she's healing you or she will. What else? Messages from Santa Muerte for Pile 3. If you're working with a protection bracelet, that's fine, but you do need to spend time to meditate so that you can strengthen your energy so that these people will not be able to give you a psychic attack so that you can focus. Connect back to yourself so that you don't let disruptive energies come near you. Yeah, they're going to have a hollow victory. They're the ones that are going to get attacked, not you. The color blue is significant for you. Either it's like lapis or aquamarine, larimar. You need a blue crystal, sodalite, to connect to your throat chakra. Because that will help you communicate better with her as well if you feel like you haven't been able to. She's still there. It's just you needing to... Um, reconnect realign your throat chakra your third eye and your crown chakra is what i'm getting with the king of pentacles you do have a money blessing coming your way and you do have a lot of spiritual abundance you also have the energy of love or she's going to love you because um you never gave up or you never lost hope in a situation that could have been very frustrating but i feel like the love of self will bring you like more happiness if you're in the energy of gratitude and if you do have love from a person it's like your whole spiritual energies love you the more you're loving yourself, the easier your blessings will come to you and you're realizing that there's a shift, a change. And look at that. You have Santa Muerte herself and the Three of Wands. So the time is now within three days, three weeks or three hours from watching this. You, there's a beautiful shift, a beautiful change in energy. She will pay you a visit or you will be able to receive some type of message, whether that's in person, in meditation or in a dream. And it's about having stability and standing up for yourself and being in this emperor energy guy or girl doesn't matter. And you are going to be able to express yourself more with the Queen of Swords. You're going to be strong. You're going to overcome your enemies because she is protecting you and what is yours. And the last message is the King of Wands. You will have direction and be motivated. She's also guiding you on other spiritual energies and your past loved ones and ancestors, like who to work with. She's guiding you, even if they are goetia spirits or any other type of stronger energies that you feel drawn to work with. She is guiding you and she is protecting you. 1313 as I say that. And yes, because you are the spiritual hierophant energy. You are gifted and you are a master of the occult. You are a healer. You are a witch. You are spiritual. You are magic pile three. So meditate with her and connect with her. And make sure that you connect with that mirror if you do have one on your altar. She's going to keep negative energies away because I do feel there's negative energies trying to cause an imbalance. She's blocking them so that they won't be able to cause an imbalance. She's protecting you and keeping the sneaky fake friends away from you. Yes, with her sword, with her machete, with her scythe, she's keeping that negative energy away. I'm hearing that song, fuck fake friends, we don't need them. Only thing they're good for is something, something, I don't know the words. I ain't got the time. So she's going to help you set healthy boundaries and not worry about people who are draining you. Is there anybody real out there? So like people are fake and you're seeing the truth of these fake people and you're not going to talk to them. They're going to notice that you're pulling back your energy and that's their karma. Yeah, because she's telling you who's real, who's loving, who's nurturing and who is, who is not. 
She's also going to give you some type of intuitive message on a spiritual practice or something that you need to do that will be specific for you. Do not share that with others because that is something that's truly divine and a message for only you to have. Yeah, with the Hierophant. So that's what I have for you. I send you many blessings. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.